Hello and welcome back. This is Sherry with Full Armor of God and today I have a message for you from the Lord that has four scriptures to go along with it. The first is the book of Isaiah chapter 40 verses 1 through 5 in the King James Version Bible it reads, Comfort ye, comfort ye, my people, saith your God. Speak ye comfortably to Jerusalem and cry unto her that her warfare is accomplished, that her iniquity is pardoned, for she hath received of the Lord's hand double for all her sins. The voice of him that crieth in the wilderness, Prepare ye the way of the Lord, make straight in the desert a highway for our God. Every valley shall be exalted, and every mountain and hill shall be made low, and the crooked shall be made straight, and the rough places plain, and the glory of the Lord shall be revealed, and all flesh shall see it together, for the mouth of the Lord hath spoken it. The second scripture is the book of Matthew, chapter 7, verses 13 through 14 in the King James Version Bible, and it reads, Enter ye in at the straight gate, for the wide gate is the gate, and broad is the way that leadeth to destruction, and many there be which go in thereat. Because straight is the gate, and narrow is the way which leadeth unto life, and few there be that find it. The third scripture is the book of Matthew, chapter 9, verses 35 through 38 in the King James Version Bible. And it reads, And Jesus went about all the cities and villages, teaching in their synagogues, and preaching the gospel of the kingdom, and healing every sickness and every disease among the people. But when he saw the multitudes, he was moved with compassion on them, because they fainted and were scattered abroad as sheep, having no shepherd. Then saith he unto his disciples, the harvest truly is plenteous, but the laborers are few. Pray ye therefore the Lord of the harvest that he will send forth laborers into his harvest. The fourth and final scripture is the book of Matthew chapter 18 verses 10 through 14 in the King James Version Bible. And it reads, Take heed that ye despise not one of these little ones. For I say unto you that in heaven their angels do always behold the face of my Father which is in heaven. For the Son of Man is come to save that which was lost. How think ye, if a man have an hundred sheep, and one of them be gone astray, doth he not leave the ninety and nine, and goeth into the mountains, and seeketh that which is gone astray? And if so, be that he find it, verily I say unto you, he rejoiceth more of that sheep than of the ninety and nine which went not astray. Even so, it is not the will of your Father which is in heaven that one of these little ones should perish. Now for the message received from the Lord God on November the 19th, 2022. The sanctity of life begins. The chosen, my anointed, are embraced. Be ready, my beloved daughter. The time left on the clock is dwindling. Tick tock, tick tock, tick tock. It's ticking down to zero minutes left. Heaven awaits those who've made their garments clean in the blood of the Lamb. I am who I say I am. I have a plan, and it is written in my holy word. It is about to unfold. It is about to be told aloud in the streets. My judgments are manifold and designed to awaken the masses. You won't need classes on them or even glasses to see them. They will appear before thee. They will be in your reality. Your physical realm will see the judgments. 
They are designed to wake up my people, wake up my people in all capital letters. Many are still asleep in their worldly ways, living day to day without me in their lives. I pray they get to know me soon. They are my beloved sheep. Why must they sleep so long? Don't they know everything is about to go wrong? Not according to their plan, but according to the Father's wishes. It must happen, and there is no easy way around it. Some are ready for me, but most are not. They have forgotten about me, your Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. I am but a fleeting thought for them. I do not even factor into the equation of their lives. They do not put me first, and some not even last, and sadly for some, I am not on the list at all. Don't you know you are a wayward soul? Aimless and without me, you are heading down the wrong path, the broad path that leads to destruction. Chaos, much chaos, is about to ensue, more chaos than is normal for today's standards. They will awaken my beloved sheep. I will keep them with me for as long as I can, but very soon my father's judgments will toss them about. Some will fall out of my good graces. The ones who are lukewarm will know the Father is angry and ready to bring in the faithful believers, for they have suffered enough. They are not meant for God's wrath. This is why I am being sent down now. I will be descending through the clouds to meet thee in the air. Prepare your hearts, minds, and souls for your Savior to appear before you. All glory will abound around you, my faithful few, my first fruits of the harvest. Ready yourselves now, my beloved chosen ones. My remnant bride will ascend with me and descend back to save those left behind from eternal damnation. Do not be left behind. Get to know me now with, while there is still a little time to be mine. We fly soon, exclamation point, with everlasting love. Jesus of Nazareth, your only Lord and Savior. This message, I could feel the desperation in his voice and it's really a two-part message it speaks to the anointed the chosen ones the ones who will be coming back the remnant it starts off i'm going to go th through the main points here it says my anointed are embraced. Be ready, my beloved daughter. The time left on the clock is dwindling. Tick tock, tick tock, tick tock. It's ticking down to zero minutes left. Further down, it says, I am who I say I am. I have a plan and it is written in my holy word. It is about to unfold. It is about to be told aloud in the streets. My judgments are manifold and designed to awaken the masses. Further down. They will be in your reality. Your physical realm will see the judgments. They are designed to wake up my people, wake up my people in all capital letters. Many are still asleep in their worldly ways, living day to day without me in their lives. I pray they get to know me soon. They are my beloved sheep. Why must they sleep so long? Don't they know everything is about to go wrong, not according to their plan, but according to the Father's wishes? Further down, they do not put me first, and some do not even, 
and some not even last, excuse me, and sadly for some I am not on the list at all. Don't you know you are a wayward soul? Further down, chaos, much chaos is about to ensue. More chaos than is normal for today's standards. They will awaken my beloved sheep. I will keep them with me for as long as I can, but very soon my father's judgments will toss them about. Some will fall out of my good graces. Further down, it says... The ones who are lukewarm will know the Father is angry and ready to bring in the faithful believers, for they have suffered enough. They are not meant for God's wrath. This is why I am being sent down now. I will be descending through the clouds to meet thee in the air, Prepare your hearts, minds, and souls for your Savior to appear before you. All glory will abound around you, my faithful few, my first fruits of the harvests. Ready yourselves now, my beloved chosen ones. My remnant bride will ascend with me and descend back to save those left behind from eternal damnation. And then the last sentence, actually two sentences, get to know me now with, while there is still a little time to be mine, we fly soon. So, I really truly believe that this is a super high watch time. I'm not setting dates. I am just saying that I feel that it's all the indicators are there that it could happen around this Thanksgiving holiday. I don't know which day. No one knows the day or the hour. But he is using me to evangelize to those people who are not putting him first in their lives and they will be sorry if they're left behind especially if their children are gone from them and they're left behind so please be ready if you're lukewarm, come back to your faith. Believe in your heart that he does exist. Ask for forgiveness of sins. Repent and pray to be deemed worthy to enter into the kingdom. Because I believe he could be coming any day now. And may God bless you.